want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And today's lesson is the U.S. economy lost 140,000 jobs in December. All of them were held by women. And you see, um, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is bringing down the proudness of the woman, man. You see? Because, uh, you know, the women has always, you know, uh, in, in Babylon been on, on top, man. You know, uh, uh, man, this wasn't one of the scriptures that I thought of, but through the Spirit, I just thought of it. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, I guess it's, uh, how's it go? Uh, uh, yeah, let's go back to that. Let's, let's get this one first, but it says, uh, let, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get it. Uh, well, let's get this right here since we got it. This is, uh, the book of Isaiah, uh, 3 and 16. It says, moreover, the Lord Yahweh said, because of the daughters of Zion are hearty and walk with stressed forth necks and wanton eyes, walking with menacing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet and this is a kind of it goes on how Yahweh Shimei Abishai had uh, plagued the women man with uh, with baldness but uh, you know the Most High has also you know this is the uh, uh, what do you call it a sign to, to tell you who the Most High is talking to, you know, because a lot of people, you know, uh, don't understand who this is talking about. But the Most High put signs on on the on the children of Israel, which are you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And this is here is talking about the Southern Tribe. You see, what the Most High had, you know, plagued with the baldness on their head, you know, and uh, because of their proudness, man, okay, and, uh, you know, back to this right here, where, you know, it's, it's talking about the most high, it was, uh, uh, you know, bringing down Babylon, and the loss of jobs, man, and all of them held by women, man, because women has always been, you know, in the, uh, and that mindset of saying, you know, you know, uh, I don't need a man, and and so on and so forth. You know, it, you know, it could, it gives worse than just that. What I, you know, just said, but you know, uh, trying to think of that that precept I was just thinking of before I read Isaiah. Uh, uh, I think it's the. The woman shall compass. Uh, amen. There we go. Uh, let's let's get it out of the KJV. All right. Okay. It's Jeremiah thirty-one and twenty-two. Uh, it says, "Uh." How long would thou go about, O daughters, O thou backsliding daughters? For the Lord Yahweh had created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man. And you know, you've been seeing that, hey, man, because in the city I live in, you know, they, you know, you see women driving the biggest cars, you know, they get the best, you know, uh, positions, man. Uh, you know, on on the plantation, and they think they're doing something, man. You know, but uh, Esau is gonna bring, you know, the chief house of Esau is gonna bring America down to his knees, man. You see, and it's a gradual thing with your Bashimi Abshai allowing Esau to do these things, man. You know, so don't believe, don't believe that the so-called white man is running this thing on his own. Okay. But he has that proud spirit on him to make him think that that's what he's 
you know, it's all about his will, but it's not. So we're going to uh, uh, we're going to read a little bit of it. It says the U.S. economy lost 140,000 jobs in December. All of them were held by women. And uh, it's uh, posted, you know, on January the 8th, 2021, the uh, year of the hastening of our Lord, right? Uh, it says a year ago, a rare thing happened to American women. Uh, it says for three months, they held more jobs than men in the U.S. economy. It says sometimes, it's like some things that had only occurred one other time in history during a short period in 2009 and early 2010. Sure, there were still many other uh, gender gaps. Women were more likely than men to work part-time. For example, because of caregiving responsibility at home and even among full-time workers and earn an average of 81%. So like 80, 81 cents for every dollar of the male peer. Okay, so we're not going to read the whole thing, but I have read it. And this is the part that kind of got me, man, when it says uh, uh, at the bottom, I believe it was. It said, uh, among women, it says in December, the restaurant and bar cut the most jobs by fair and part-time workers were hit especially hard. Among women, Latinos currently have the highest unemployment rate at 9.1% uh, 9 1, 9 followed by black women at 8.4%. White women have the lowest unemployment rate at 5 point seven percent you see and 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 they're talking about you uh israelites man see the so-called blacks hispanics and native americans man you know you eat them are you so-called white women you know you you come from the house of esau man okay that's your biblical nationality you're not a jew <laughs> okay it says the bureau of labor statistics uh does not rely seasonally or just adjusted unemployment rate for women of other racial or ethnic identity so okay so this is what's going on in america man the most high is you know uh checking the women of the tribe so let's see if we can play this video see what it played lord willing mommy Wake up, Mama. You gotta go to school. The morning routine for Rose Rodriguez and her three girls. You gonna go play in school? They're gonna feed you too. Three-year-old Alejandra. Come on, get up. And 12-year-old Terry sleep in one bed. 13-year-old Yalitza sleeps on the couch. Breakfast. All right, you on this one? Is what she scrounged from the day before. Looks good. Yeah. I'll eat whatever it's left over. Everything has changed since coronavirus. Thank you, Mom. My pantry, that's all I have. Before coronavirus was this full? Everything was full. This was Rodriguez at her full-time job at LAX airport. She worked for Qantas Airlines Cargo, making more than $20 an hour. I thought everything would be good. I thought, you know what? I have money for my rent. I have money for the food. I don't have to worry about the girl's health. I never thought it, that on Wednesday I'll show up to work, but no, it wasn't that way. You could lose your job in, in any time. How about the food? I mean, how much? The food, that's what we struggle more. Tell me about that struggle. The struggle is that sometimes we eat, sometimes we don't. What she manages is cheap, unhealthy food. Rodriguez says she's applied for 50 jobs. 30 interviews later, still nothing. Her unemployment application stalled, part of the more than 1 million stuck in a log jam in California's system. Her car and most of her furniture repossessed. She's months behind on rent. And when we go to the laundromat, we see homeless washing themselves. And one day, if I don't go back to work, I want to be, I'm going to be one of them. Y'all live check by check, but now it's not check, it's a box. A box that I have to stretch out 
for seven days. That weekly box has donated food from the LA Food Bank and Salvation Army. Are you taking notes? While her older daughters learn virtually on public school laptops. Who's ready for lunch? Alejandra gets free childcare and lunch at the Salvation Army. Too young to understand a virus's impact on her family. My youngest, she wants what she sees. But I tell her, Mommy, I can't. I have to tell her tomorrow so she could forget. And every day it's tomorrow? Yeah, everything's tomorrow. Food banks across the country have seen hours long lines as record unemployment devastates working families. So we do have our peas. At the Salvation Army Food Bank in Los Angeles, they fed 10 times the number of people as last year. It is not like it happened for a week or two weeks. It's been happening for months. And even though we're trying our best to help, we know that we're barely scratching the surface because we can only do so much with the limited resources that we have. Today, Sopita. fresh food bank supplies mean their shelves are more full. Making cheese. But the joy is short lived. Counting down the days to the next food box has begun. They shouldn't go through this. They don't have to be worried like how you can eat the next day. Like, and my mom has to go look for food. Or has my mom eaten? And, and they shouldn't worry about that. Like, I should be working. And they should be just worried about school and their future. <laughs> it just hurts. You see? And that's what the Most High has, uh, you know, plagued our people. To this man, hey, it's, it's, it's a humbling, you know, it's, it's, it's humbling you, you know, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. So you can probably imagine how she was, you know, when she had the decent paying job, you know, really $20 an hour, really. That really ain't no money, but, you know, it keeps you afloat, right? So let's go into this next uh, precept. Uh, uh, let's see which one I had. Uh, we can go to uh, the book of uh, uh, let's go to Isaiah three and uh, twelve. I believe it is. Uh, it says, "For my people, children are their oppressors." And women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to error and destroy the ways of thy path. You see? And the point is, uh, and the women rule over them, man, you know? And that's what you, 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 you once had, you know? Until now, you know? When you see this is, you know, happening, man, hey, it ain't no joke, man. You see, our Mommy. people. They, they, they take in the brunt. Mama, you gotta go to school. The morning routine for Rose Rodriguez and her three girls. You gonna go play? You know, they take in the brunt of, the, of, of this uh, 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 pandemic, okay? You see? But I, the most high is asking a question in his next precept. Isaiah uh, uh, 32 and uh, 9. You see? Yeah, that's a good one, too. I'll come back to that. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. See? For the vintage shall fail, and gathering shall not come. See? And that the, vin the vintage is what? Uh, uh, Esau, Edom's... Uh, uh, a liability with you know jobs and EBT and you know uh, supplemental uh, help you know through the government. Verse eleven it says, "Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones. Strip you, make you bare, and gird and gird a sackcloth upon your lawns." You see, and you know a lot of women. You know, especially the so-called Negroes, you know, the uh, the Southern tribe, you know, they, hey, 
they got to have, you know, the best of the best. You know, they, they want the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton and the, and, 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 and the red bottoms, man, you see. But the most high is, is, is you know, is, is in the humbling stage, man. He's bringing us to a humbling stage, man. Especially the ones, the, the women, you know. You know. Which, I mean, you have some women out there, man, that's, that's a, a, a humble women, man. You know, I made a video uh, on my page is suspended now, but it was one sister, man. She was, hey, man, I, 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 she was a beautiful sister, man, you know. Beautiful in the spirit, man, you see, because she knew her role, you know. She knew what she was supposed to do as a, as a so-called woman, man, you see. And women of the day, they, doesn't, they don't have that, that, that uh, mindset of uh, knowing who they are, you know. They want to be bigger and better than the women, than the men, Salaki. Let's go back up to this, this one here, man. Uh, Isaiah 32 and 2. It says, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covered from the tempest as a river of, li of water and a dry place as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And that's talking about a, a, a man of the Lord, the man that's in his truth. You know, the 100% truth, not, uh, not with gal, man. You know, because you... Having a lot of uh, 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 Israelite groups that's coming out there, you know, they they they're telling you to take uh, these different, uh, uh, you know, these different jabs, man, to you know, and, and leading you astray, man. Okay. So you know, the best camp to follow is is the Great Millstone, man. Without a doubt. Okay. They're going to give you the 100% truth, man. All right? Because some of these camps out here, man, they have actually, you know, they, 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 they're in bed with Esau. You know? When I say Esau, I'm talking about the government, man. You know, the enemy. Who you were sold to. Okay? Getting off those, uh, uh, you know, those slave ships, man. Okay? All right, let's get this next precept uh uh, this is the book of, uh, yeah, Jer uh, Jeremiah, I believe I'm looking for, uh, uh, I think it's 4 and 30, let's see, um, uh, it says, uh, Jeremiah 4 and 30, uh, yes, it says, and when thou art spoiled, what would thou do? It says, though thou closest thyself in crimson, uh, uh, though deckest thee with ornaments of gold, you know, it's talking about the women, man, okay? It says, thou, it says, though thou rentest thy face with paintings, in vain shall thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. And the, who is the lovers of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Esau, which is the government, man. It says, thy lovers would despise thee. You know, all of the, you know, she was talking about how she that it, thought everything would be okay. You know, she had a job to go back to and everything. You know, it says, but the, it's letting you know right here what, what's going to happen. It says, thy lovers would despise thee. They will seek thy life, man, you know. And that's coming, okay? That's coming, man. Hey, it, it's not here yet, but hey, it's coming. The Most High is, is you know, is long suffering, man. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a gradual thing. You know, he's allowing Esau, man, to 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 plague our people, man, because our people still are, 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 are you know, mainly the women, man. You know, they, they, they're, they're in bed with Esau, man. Anything they can get from them, you know, they you know they do whatever they can, man. They sell their souls, you know. You know, whatever that uh, that keep them, you know, afloat, you know, they'll do it. But the Most High tells you, you know, throughout the scriptures, man, to trust in Him. For the verse 31, it says, For I have heard a voice 
as a woman in travail, and the anguish of as of her that bringeth forth her first child, and the voice of the daughters of Zion that bewaileth herself that spread her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary because of murders. You know, but the point is in verse 30, man. Okay. Thy lovers will despise thee. Okay. In the time of Jacob's trouble, they will seek thy life. Okay. Uh, let's get that. Uh, Jeremiah 30 and um, verse 7. You know, this Jacob's trouble is here, man. Okay. It's just the start of it, but it says right here, at last for the day is great so that so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it and who is that he that should be saved out of jacob's trouble the elect man okay and and as we you know talked about in uh, uh i believe that was the book of isaiah i had went to where you know the man would be as a, a hiding place for the woman and it's talking about the elect man. You see? And it's, women will be saved, you know, through the man. You know, you're going to have some women that believe in this truth and that don't have a man. But, you know, by the, by the power and the spirit of Yahabashim, Yahabashai, Rakat Kadash, you know, uh, the Most High is going to set that woman up with a man of the Lord. Okay? Okay, let's let's go back to uh, this next precept. I believe it was where I'm at now. I think it was Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah 22. And uh, uh, 21, I believe I'm looking for. Uh, Jeremiah 22 and 21. Uh, maybe that's not it. Uh, it says, I spake unto thee in thy, prosper, in thy prosperity, but thou saidest, I would not hear. This had been my manner from thy youth, that thou obeyest not my voice. And that's talking about, you know, the, the, the wicked of our people, man. You know, the wickedness of our people, you know, have uh, been confounded, man. You know. Because they 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 in bed with their lovers, man. The lovers of this this world, man. It says the wind shall eat up all thy pastors, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely, then shall thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. You know, or Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. Uh, where I'm at now. Uh, uh, I believe I, I got that, but let's go back to it, man. Did I get that? Uh, Jeremiah 31 and uh, 22. I might have been, I think I might have gotten that, but i kind of been jumping around. It says, how long would I go about old backsliding daughters? For the Lord Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man, you know, and that's 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 a that's old news right now, <laughs> you know, because the women are, are being humble, man. The women of the tribe, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are being humble, man. Or Jeremiah two and nineteen, thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Now therefore, and see that it is an evil thing. And bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord Yahweh thy power, and that my fears.